Alrighty, boys, welcome to the lightweight division. As you guys can see, we are currently in UFC Undisputed 3, and we are using Jel Jens Pulver. Of course, Jens Pulver is not in uh, EA Sports UFC 4, so figured I'm going to go to the game that he is in, and we're going to, to run it with him. As you can see right there, knockout power, grappling, experience. I am fighting the AI right now. We're fighting in the highest difficulty, ultimate. Um... And I just picked like a like a random like a random fighter, and you guys, as you can see right there, it is Anthony Showtime Pettis who will be facing out, facing off against Anthony Showtime Pettis. Uh, Jens Pulver is the first champion, the first UFC lightweight champion. He won it in uh, 2001. This was uh, the 23rd of February, 2001. He wanted to. Uh, he won. To become the lightweight champion, he defeated Cal Uno, and that was UFC 30. Man, it's been it's been ages, ages, ages ago. Um, he defended his title uh, against Dennis Holman and also against BJ Penn before leaving the UFC and vacating the title. Um, so he he was good, man. I mean, if you if you're able to beat if you're able to beat BJ Penn, especially at that time, BJ Penn was nasty. Be able to get a win over BJ Penn, you're you're not a joke. You know you're a fighter that knows exactly what he's doing. But then again, mixed martial arts has definitely, definitely advanced since then. So he he would not be able to compete with champions of today. Like, but then again, a vast majority of older champions wouldn't really be able to compete with champions of today. So here we go. We're going to I'm going to do what I can against. Anthony Pettis right here. Um, I'm going to kind of keep this one entertaining. I'm not going to grapple too much. Even though the grappling in this game is infinitely more fun to watch as a spectator than the grappling in UFC 4. But I'm going to look to strike with Pettis here. That might be a terrible mistake. Here we go. Thank you. Good kick. There we go. Pettis in this game can be just brutal, bro. Like, he just throws sick combinations at you. He... Caught that one. All right, Pettis. What are, you, what, are we, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing, Pettis? Ouch. The AI in this game, especially in the ultimate difficulty, like I've said that before, um, if what you want is an AI that's tough, oh gosh, he got me. If you want an AI that's tough, but also like more realistic, then it's better to go with the advanced difficulty. Because the AI in the ultimate difficulty, right there, they start doing some Matrix-like shit, man. Oh goodness, mercy. The head, their head movement just becomes <laughs> insane. They slip everything, they counter perfectly. Catch that, sit him down. Head kick, good. What I'm looking to do for the most part is uh, to try to lunge in and land shots as he whiffs. He will slip that. Ah! Nice. Ah! Couldn't catch it. Catch that. Sit him down. Of course, in this game, to catch the body kicks, you flick down on your right stick. When you see a body kick coming, you flick down on your right stick, you're going to catch it. You can also catch punches to the body. Oh-ho! Jens has the stepping jab. And he's got that lunging left hook as well. Let's try to see if we can use it. Uh, oh no. Fake, fake. He also has that uh, stepping. Got, uh, that uppercut right there. That Gio De Santos uppercut in the game where you, you lunge in with it. It's the same exact uppercut he used to knock out um, Fabricio Verdome. 
That uppercut was specifically mocap for JDS. Some fighters in the game have it as well. Stay patient. Opportunity will come. Your sways are taking you into trouble. I believe that's what my corner just told me. So, try to keep that in mind. Got to keep those hands up inside. Wise words to follow. Now, the lightweight division is going to be a big one, boys. It's going to be big. There's going to be a lot of champions in this weight class. So, a lot of champions in this weight. So, we're going to do our very... Ah, okay, we're not going to throw from the rear hand anymore. We're going to throw from the lead hand. So, the videos are going to have to be spread out. This is going to be a long series. I told you guys. It'll be a long series, but I hope you're enjoying it. A big reason why it hasn't been like as frequent as I'd like is because I'm preparing to compete on Saturday. But I'm going to have enough videos ready to go because I will be in South Carolina. Oh! We'll be in South Carolina, and I will not be able to make videos. Nice. All right. Catch that. Nice. Got him. Look at that head. That head damage is getting... So he's working my body for sure, but I am focusing mostly on, on his head. Yes. There we go. Ah, I should have lunged in right there. Yikes. Oh my goodness. No. No. Ah. Uh, get off me, Pettis. He's got this body lock from the back. He could drag me to the ground, but I'm just trying to muscle out of there. Get out of it. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Next time I hit him with that, I'm going to go with the left hand. With that, that long left hand. That's what I'm going to go for. Yes. Tee off on him. Yes. Fake that. Good. We did damage, boys. We did damage. I was thinking that it was going to be the... He was going to be the only one to do damage in that round, but... uh. We were able to, uh, definitely able to do some damage, so I'm happy about that. Cannot complain. Cannot complain. They're telling me he, he's not going to be able to take many more shots now, so... We're going to keep that going. And once we're done with Jens Pulver, we're going to go move on to Sean Shirk. Sean Shirk won the title in 2007. He is He's the second... Lightweight champion of the UFC. Get out of here, boy. Ah, nice. I need to start going more with that left hand. We're going to be real clean this round. There we go. Catch that. Nice. <laughs> yeah. The AI just makes split second brilliant decisions. But his head is bad. His head is bad. Yes. That left hand is going to be his undoing. Ah, 
throw that one. That one. Yes, that's what I mean right there. He's good. I wonder if Jens Pulver has the cage. Uh, let's see. He doesn't. Careful, Pettis. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That is it. You're just taking taking advantage of those small, small openings to land clean shots. Lunge in, boom. Lunge in, boom. Yeah, baby. That was fun, bro. That was fun. I mean, it's always fun anytime we get to play UFC on the Speed of 3. It's always a good time. Look at that. He whiffs. We lunge in with that beautiful left hook. Not left hook. Left cross. To sit him down. Lunge. Boom. Flat, flatten Anthony Pettis. And he looks dead. He just he looks just completely dead. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this one right here. And he is probably not even going to make it to the winner announcement because of how bad. Yeah, he's, he didn't make it. My man is still hurt being attended to by the doctors. <laughs> there you go. Put that belt around Jens Pulver as he becomes the first UFC lightweight champion, baby. Jens Pulver. All right, buddy. Let's move on, boys. Next is going to be Sean Shirk. Sean Shirk should be a fun one. I'm actually going to fight the exact same person he fought to win the belt. Let's get it. All righty, boys. This is going to be uh, the second champion of the UFC's lightweight division. And this is Sean Shirk. Uh, Sean Shirk defeated Kenny Florian at UFC 64 uh, to win the vacant UFC lightweight title. Again, you guys remember we talked about how uh, we talked about how Jens Pulver was able to defeat BJ Penn and Dennis Holman, and then vacated the belt and left the organization. Um, so there we go. This man is a mixed mush, and now, fighting! And when the action begins, a ref... Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? Come on. Let's fight! Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can stump... See if we can stump Kelly, Kenny Florian and, uh, and get that belt. Uh, the ass... The, uh, the, the bad news about Sean Shirk is that, uh... Uh, he defended his belt. He was able to defend it once against Hermes Franca, but then he was stripped. Oh, rocked. Man is so strong and powerful, but he was stripped of the title. You guys want to guess why he was stripped? I mean, take, take a look at him. Why do you think he was stripped of the title? <laughs> Man tested positive for anabolic steroids, so he was stripped of the belt. So once again, the title was vacant. So not a long title reign at all. Not a not a really eventful one either. Yeah, he beat Kenny Florian by uh, by decision. This was when Kenny Florian was in the lightweight division. Eventually he moved. Oh no 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 no! Eventually he moved down to the featherweight division. Kenny has been around, man. Kenny has definitely been around. He's fought, he's fought, uh, he's fought Jose Aldo. I mean, it was a good fight too. And right now, Kenny Florian is in Charlotte, North Carolina, training with Lucas Lepre. Can we dump him? Yes. 
He's trying to roll, roll over his right shoulder. That's how you do it. Roll over the right shoulder and recover full guard. Right here, we're going to start knee cutting. Right into Mao. And we're pretty much transition reversing him. He's going to try again. We pass directly into side control. He's going to try to recover. Again, we're going to pass directly into Mao. And in this game, to... um. To reverse the transition, all you're doing is flicking the right stick, but you got to flick it at the right time. So the moment you notice them about a transition, you flick your right stick either to your left or to your right. And if you hit the time incorrectly, your character is going to perform a transition reversal. And a transition reversal, most of the time, is just you advance in position. But sometimes it's actually a straight up reversal where your fighter gets reversed from top to bottom. Um, or you go from bottom to top and I think that's one of the downsides of the grappling system in this game like the reversal system especially online that's where it became very very problematic online because that's just what everyone did it kind of stripped the game of of its beauty on the ground online and when you fight the AI in the highest difficulty you're gonna notice it Kenny Florian has that that karate style uh, left hand that Lyoto Machida throws in the game. He'll throw it over and over again and consistently look to teep kick you, which is why I'm able to catch him. See that? Occasionally he will do that, lunging with a with a elbow. It's a nasty elbow too. So you can almost guarantee that he's going to consistently try to throw teeps to your body and you can just catch him catch them do damage to that yo get off me bro i don't want to try to dump him because he'll just reverse it and end up on top and i don't want kenny florian on top of me so if i can take his back from here there's a shot on his back Put him down. Shouldn't have do that again. Should not do that again. Because that could be reversed. Alright, he doesn't have... Okay, let's see if we can get a full-on body lock. No, no, no. Locked hands. Locked hands. There we go. Does he have the knee? Yes, he does. Alright. We're going to let him get us into collar tie against the cage right there. So we can throw... All right, he's out. Mm. He was trying to time it. It's a lot of damage is being done to you, Kenny. Beat me to double underhooks. Alright, we good. Everything I won that round. We're able to land most of the shots. We're able to deflect other shots he tries to throw. The teeps to the body. We're able to... I mean, look at his... The right side of his face starting to swell up. Starting to swell up like crazy. But yeah. We'll keep it going just like that. This corner is telling him to, to dump me. <laughs> we'll see We'll see if he can do that. So the way this is going right now, boys, it's looking like uh, it's looking like it's just going to be two fights in this video, just so it's not ridiculously long. This might end up being a 30-minute long video. So um, we're just going to upload these two, these two fights here with the left hand. We'll upload these two fights and then break the video down it's probably gonna be in three parts to be honest with you guys because
I mean, think about how many champions we've had in this weight class. After this, we've got BJ Penn. Then we've got Frankie Edgar. Then we've got Benson Henderson. Anthony Pettis, Rafael Dos Anjos, Eddie Alvarez, Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson, Habib Nurmagomedov, Dustin Poirier. Then again, I don't know if I'm going to do Dustin Poirier because he only won the interim title, so I'm, I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to go there. I don't think I'm going to do uh, Tony Ferguson either because he won the interim title. I think we're just going to focus on... We're going to focus on the actual champion. So we'll skip Tony. We'll skip Dustin. We'll do Habib. Then we'll do Charles Oliver. It's going to be a long one. He's going to keep doing it. He's just going to keep doing it. And I'm going to keep catching it and blasting them. Look at this. Rocked. Oh, get on top. I do love Mount. I do love being in Mount. It's a, it's so funny seeing like an opponent mounted grabbing a hold of the head like that, you know, trying to break the posture down. Because you just don't see that in jiu-jitsu. In jiu-jitsu, you're looking for frames. You're looking for, for frames at the hip so you can start knee elbow, ex knee elbow escaping. Adam, can we take his back? Yes, we can. But of course, in MMA, you're also worried about strikes. So you got you to gotta make sure you control the posture. Because if the opponent postures up, then they start raining down blows. Just amazing how jiu-jitsu changes quite a bit once you add striking to it. Five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you gotta bring something behind it. You gotta bring that face is getting butchered, man. And my face is still clean. Look at that. Barely any scratches. I mean, we're just not getting hit too much. To the face. I mean, to the body, absolutely. But to the face, not so much. I like it. Let's go. Run to that center and take the cage. Let's move around a little bit. Move around, why not? We own the octagon. It's my octagon. <laughs> He's getting desperate now. You notice this with the AI. Once once they start losing badly and their head health starts to get really bad, they'll do this where they start pressuring heavy. And that's because they want to start getting you to throw. Because when you throw, they turn into the matrix and they start ah oh, and they start that's when they start rocking you badly. So even though his head health is really bad. And you would expect him to start backing up and being passive. That's when the AI in this game actually does the opposite. They go full on matrix on you. So, I'm going to be very careful. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, he is full on trying to survive now. Full on trying to survive. And for me, I'm just looking for that shot, man. I'm looking for that shot. And I'm going to get him. See if we can look for the uppercut now. Ah! 
too far. <laughs> faking him. We're just faking him, faking him, faking him. Let's go. Yeah, this next round, we're going to get him out of there. Watch out and protect your midsection. I'm good, bro. Oh, he cut me. Oh, how dare you, Kenny? How dare you, Kenny? Good, good, good. Okay, fighters, you ready? You ready? I'm ready. Let's get let's let's get this over with. Let's get him out of here. Let's get him out of here. Oh, of course. He is in full survival mode now, but it's not going to help, sir. Because I'm just looking for a few shots, a few more shots, and we're going to get you out of here. Just a few more shots. A few clean ones. You know how he throws that, that left hook, that left uh, kick to the body? There's an opening after he throws it to land a shot to his head. We'll see if we can take that next. Right there? Yeah. Mm hmm. He switches his stance. Yeah, yeah. Any little stumble he makes right now, I'm going to lunge in and try, to, and try to smack him. Any little stumble. Any small whiff. Yeah. What? Yes, like like right there. Mm-hmm. Any small stumble. Ah. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Don't be whiffing like that, sir. Don't be whiffing like that. And that does it, boys. That does it. So we'll call this one part one. We had to go real old school. Old school, old school to get this to get this done. And there you have it. The first two champions in the UFC. Jens Pulver and Sean Shirk. Mr. Sean Shirk, who got stripped of his title because of testing positive for steroids. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. A little throwback to uh, UFC on the Speedy 3. I'm thinking of doing Benson Henderson in UFC on the Speedy 3. It's either going to be UFC on the Speedy 3 or it's going to be UFC 1. Because Benson Henderson was in uh, ES Sports UFC 1. We'll see. I think it'll be just more interesting for me to use him in, in UFC on the Spirit 3, so I think that's just what I'm going to do. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what I, def what I decide to do. In the meantime, if you guys enjoyed this one, go right ahead and leave a like. It helps out the channel. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good day, folks. See you later.